Hey little gay boys and girls and bad gays and straight boys who sneak and watch my videos and watch me too, yes. Um, today I am in Raleigh, North Carolina for Raleigh Black Pride, yes. And I am here with Anthony Hanna of the Alliance of AIDS Services Carolina. How are you today? Doing well, doing well. It is so good to be back home because y'all know North Carolina is home for me. So yes, so I'm here with you today and I'm scared. Why are you scared? Well, because I gotta take an HIV test. Well, you should never be scared. It's always a part of your routine health. So you should just make it a part of your routine health yearly to get tested. So you should never be afraid. Okay, so what is this like? What am I gonna have to do today? Because okay, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a traditional test, which is a blood draw, and you get one tube of blood, and they test both the syphilis and HIV. As well as you want to do a traditional, excuse me, a rapid test, and it takes ten minutes, and it's a single point. It's really so I'm gonna have to get free. Yeah, I have to get free. Okay, that's what got me in this trouble in the first place. Okay, okay, but I am willing to do this. Okay, so I have to start the test. Okay, so okay. what do I have to do? Okay, first you would do is fill out your paperwork, which you've already done. We have all your paperwork completed. And it's completely anonymous. It's completely anonymous. Excuse me, confidential. North Carolina has only confidential testing here. Well, what about some other places? Like, what are some laws as far as confidentiality is? Well, most states now have confidentiality. Basically, what it means is you have to give up identifying information to come back and get your results. So you just can't give no name. You have to give a name, some type of identifying information, come back, get your results, and choose it. Okay. What, is, what do you think? Because I know one of the biggest fears, of course, for taking an HIV test for some people is if the test comes back negative. Why should people not be afraid of that? Well, uh, did I say it right? If yeah. the test does not come back negative, right. if the test does not, yeah, if I said the it test right. does not come back, I was back drinking back. last night, y'all. Forgive me. Okay. <laughs> so the thing, the biggest fear, what we see most of the time these days is people wanting to know where can I get meds, and I think that's the big thing. I think we all know about HIV; it's been around 25 plus years. The thing is now medication. How can I afford my medication? And so that's what we're looking at now. So what we do is when we have a preliminary positive or positive, we start linking people immediately into care. And so what we have here in North Carolina is called bridge counselors. And they're short-term case managers that walk a newly infected person through the process of getting to a doctor, filling out paperwork to be on drug assistance programs or clinical trials or whatever. But that's what we do here in North Carolina. Okay, and generally, uh, after being exposed to a situation that could uh, render somebody HIV positive, how long would the results come back positive if they were after that experience? Well, if there is with tests, so, but the most traditional and the most accurate test would be a traditional test, which is the blood draw. Okay. And you would test normally around the 90 days after your possible exposure. And that would be 100% accurate after 90 days. Okay, and what is the difference between that and the finger prick? I'm getting pricked today. Again, um, what would be um, the, the finger prick? How does that differ from the... Well, it's actually a very similar test. Actually, the one that we do is 99.7% accurate. And so the test is very similar. It's the same test pretty much is looking for HIV antibodies. But what there is in North Carolina, we actually do a test that is a test that actually looks for virus too. And so that's why we always encourage people to get the a traditional test here in the Palau. So you can actually look for virus and anybody. Okay. So now I'm about to take the test. Yeah. Oh my God. Can we pray before I take it? We can pray. Heavenly Father. No, I need to pray this. I get myself into trouble. Okay. okay. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. You know how I love you. You know how you love me. And I know I have made some mistakes. We have all sinned and fallen short of the Trojan. But I pray that you protect me. And I just pray that you make this result be good. And I'll put three dollars in offer in my room. And I thank you. Amen. <laughs> okay. I'm not so afraid. I'm about to get a little freaking again. You ready? Okay. So okay, yes. Okay. I need one of your fingers. Um Which I, one do you mean? Well this is the good answer. Okay, I prefer the little fingers. Okay. I'm we'll gonna clean it off. Oh my god. I'm so scared. It's just a Simple finger stick. I'm terrified.
You know every time you pick something else up, I jump a little. Is that the thing you're going to be sticking this me with? the needle. Oh, that's bigger than my ex-boyfriend. Okay. A little lancet. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. So it's kind of like the diabetes thing a little bit. Yeah, but you're not bleeding much. we got to have a lot. Come on, get out of there, play. It's because I'm, I think it's because I'm, like, I always do that. I am, like. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And so what does this right here do? You're going to fill it up to that little black line. Do you see the black line? Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to drop it in the kit. And it's going to mix with the solution for 10 minutes. And it'll give you a result in 10 minutes. And you're also getting the traditional blood draw, which Laura will do that. You're almost done. Oh, my goodness. Generally, how do people respond to the blood drawings, like, when they get there? It depends on, like, how. Because I don't like needles. I don't either. So, <laughs> it's just like, oh, my God. And it, is it hard pricking people? No. That's the first time I heard a girl say that. Okay. <laughs> All okay. right. I'm going to mix the solution in it. And it's going to sit for 10 minutes. Okay. And that is it. Okay, so we start the timer now for that test. Right. And now you're going to get up and go over there, and she's going to drop the leaf. Put your band on before you get up. Okay. How many already stopped, please? And then Laura's gonna draw your blood in the traditional. I feel like I'm taking, I'm in like a HIV test jungle gym. That's what I feel like I'm in. Because I took that, I had to answer those questions and I had to take the finger break. And now this is the, what type of test is this? This is just blood drop from the traditional HIV. Okay. Oh my God, here we go. Y'all gonna have a hard time getting blood out of me. This is what I said. <laughs> That's what everybody said? Oh my God. Like my bit. Oh, pump it. Again, that's what got me in this trouble, pumping it. Okay. Oh, oh nice. Good. I'm 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 as far as like the process and all that other stuff. Is this generally easier or harder? Again, depending on the person, right? For me, it's the same. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And so for this process, like what do they do with the blood when they take it? We will take it. We'll fill up this tube. Two tubes we'll of blood? Take it once. We'll spin it down. We'll take serum from the blood. You need two tubes? No. How many tubes you taking from me today? Just do one. Just one? Let me see your teeth. Are you a vampire? Cause what you doing with my blood? Okay. <laughs> Look at my teeth. Please. Oh, okay. Oh my God. You ready? Yes. Okay. Come on, blood. It's coming. It's coming. Mhm. Mm okay, I'm coming. <laughs> This time a different guy away. way. <laughs> oh my god. Keep that slow deep breath into your nose. Out through your mouth. Good job. You're almost done. You're not filling up. Stops, you're done. Okay. 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 And so what do you do with this? You send this to a, like a clinic or something? Yeah, we'll send it to the lab and we'll test it. Okay, and they, they use this test to test for HIV and syphilis. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is similar to something like people who are getting married. They take these kinds of, right? Yes, and pregnant women. Because they test for everything. You're welcome. Okay. Hold that a couple minutes. Okay. If you hold it tight, it won't clot. It won't, you will clot. You won't burst. So we're done with that process. Done with that process. Okay, so the next is to go back and get my final result. Yeah, two weeks. Okay, so in two weeks I'll get that. So 
How does that generally work if you call? Sometimes you have to call, right, to get your results. You can't call and get the test results over the phone. You need to actually come in and get your results in person. Okay, so you can either do that. Now, some places, though, you can call um, and give them a code, because I know some places they give you, like, a code. Usually not in North Carolina, not for these tests. Okay. Well, so it that varies from state to state. It does. Okay. Okay. So. So you did it. Oh my God! And I have to wait a few more minutes, and then I go back and I get the test results. So, y'all remember that prayer because we have all sinned and fallen short of that pack of Trojans. So make sure you put that thing on. It just takes a quick second, and like you can do it sexy. Learn how to put a rubber on with your mouth. Um, that takes a lot of skill, and that still makes it hot. You can use flavor condoms for blowjobs. Um, there's so many different ways you can stay safe, okay? And also, don't use, somebody told me, because, you know, sometimes you be in the habit, especially like if you're stuck in the house with your boyfriend or whatever during a snowstorm, and you can't get out to get, you know, what you need, so you might use cooking oil or something like that. Do not use cooking oil, or do not use olive oil or Vaseline with the condoms. Well, if it's your boyfriend, depending on your relationship, I... I might get a trouble for saying this. I don't feel like you need to use condoms, but if you got one, like, I'm just saying, that's what got me in this trouble in the first place. Maybe I need to shut up. But, so, okay, well, <laughs> why are y'all doing that? You should always use condoms. I always use condoms. Even when it is your boyfriend? You don't know what they do outside the relationship. You can't watch somebody 24 hours a day, you don't know what they're doing. Well, like I said, at least I was right on the don't use cooking oil, because it's less than Because we used to use Crisco. Okay? Anyway, we'll be back shortly. So, this is the hardest part. The hardest part is waiting on the result to come in. And so, with this little stick right here, when they prick your finger, it takes about 10 to 20 minutes for you to get that result. So, we're waiting. Alright, get out my face. Okay. Who are you so, waiting? This is the final result for the rapid test. Yeah. So, so you know he came in negative. Woo! You get oh! Your, oh. Prayer, your prayer was answered. <laughs> oh, yes. I might throw in $4. Okay. Hi, yeah. Remember, this only goes back 90 days. So if you've done something less than 90 days unprotected, you will need to be tested again. Okay? Just so you know that. Okay. This is your return card for your traditional test. For this one? Yep. For okay. your traditional test. This is the number you call between the hours that we're here. You can call to get your syphilis over the phone, but you have to come back in person to get your HIV. Okay? okay. So keep that. That's okay. how we're going to identify you. Also, pay attention. This is the same number that was put on your paperwork, on your blood, and everything. Certainly identify. So this is how we will identify you when you come back in. I'm going to do it by name, but by this number right here. Okay. Okay? So good. So okay. this is good. This is good. It reminds you that you need to strap up, so you need to stop to the CVS and use these. Yep. They have them in, and, well, first of all, if he does not need, if, the, if he does not fit these snugly, don't put them on, because you don't need them to fall off while he's in there, while you're in there. So if it's not your size, use your appropriate size, okay? You don't want to be wearing no condom with no safety pins in it. <laughs> um, so they have different size condoms and everything like that. So anything people should know about HIV tests and protecting themselves. So the most important is look at your risk factors and determine when you need to test. If you know you're engaging a whole lot of risk factors, meaning unprotected sex or sharing um, needles or syringes or work, test regularly. I would say at least every six months, twice a year. If you're not engaging in high-risk activities, test at least once a year. It's always important to know your status. Use your head. Get the test. This one up here before that one down there. Good. Okay. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for allowing me to come. Thank you for having the alliance. Yes, definitely. And um, please keep watching. Please subscribe. Watch the videos. Tell your friends what we're doing. And I love y'all. And protect your asses. Okay? Look both ways before you cross that street. Or go in the alley or whatever you do. All right. Anyway. Bye, babies. Bye, babies. <laughs> <laughs>